Hi. This is unit one. It's part two. I think we're up to part two now. This is going to be questions six through nine. Questions. Let's look and see what we're doing here. First of all, we have page six. This is going to be a little silly. The, the thing to always look for is where are the divide and multiplies? Those seem to be more important and first beside the adding. Oh, but there's the parentheses, so we have to add those together. Now I know a half and a third makes five six. Let's go through that. One half and one third. One of the tricks to doing this is to get the same number on the bottom. So I'm looking for a six on the bottom. Because I'm going to multiply the top and bottom here by 2. The top and bottom here by 3. And the reason is, I've got a 2 here and a 3 here. Let's make it the same on both. And we just multiply this side by 3. And because there's a 2 here, we multiply this side by 6. And then with fractions... We just go straight across. It's the same number on the bottom. On the top, you just add. Now, I'd, if, if this is confusing here, contact me. We'll do a separate one on fractions. So, this comes down here. This comes down. Oh, no! We have a... What is that? A square. So, this becomes nine. So, <sighs> nines... We're going to be dividing this into nine little pieces. We're going to do the keep, change, flip. So this guy's keep. We change the divide to the times. And we're going to flip him over. He's the flip. So then when you flip, it's going to be 5 over 6 times 2 over 1. You go straight across. So you have a 10 on the top and a 6 on the bottom. And that's how we got down here. Now, that plus comes down. And this strange thing where we do 3 quarters divided by 9, we put the 9 underneath. So we get 3 out of 36. Now again, this is a silly math teacher, right? 3 times 1, and 3 times 12. The reason we see this is because this 3 is like 3 times 1. And this one is 3 times 12. That's how we got rid of it. It becomes 1 twelfth. Now we have to add 1 twelfth to 10 over 6. <gasps> Oh my God, what do we do? Okay, I can turn six into 12 by multiply by top and bottom by two. So I get 20 over 12. And then once again, we add straight across. I've got 21 over 12 and that's our answer. Okay, remember, make notes of all this because you're gonna need it when you take the practice and when you do the mastery test. This is pretty straightforward. We want to collect the same letters. I see the X's here. I see the X's here. Here's Y and Y. The tricky part is right here. See that negative or it's a subtracting? What I want you to do is do a negative of a positive it makes a negative. A negative of a negative, that makes a positive. That's why we have negative negative makes a positive. We take all of this and we put it underneath. So I rewrote this, 20x plus 5y. I move the 6x, the negative 6x, underneath the 20. And the y goes under the y. Let's add them up. And there's our answer. You're going to see something similar to this on the practice questions. Oh, my.
do you really does it really matter what these things are called like if i know that an elephant has this long nose let's call it and then he has these things which is like a big mouth i guess there he is i know what he uses this for it's for breathing but you don't have to know the exact name. I mean, c'est quelque chose pour souffre. It is something for breathing. I don't know the word in French or in German or in Russian or in Portuguese or Spanish. But este es el, la cosa para uh, breathe. What is? Respirar. Okay. respiration. So the coefficient, you can just think of it as the number that's in front. They're going to ask you a question, which is the coefficient? And it's going to be that number and that number. And see how there's three parts? They call those terms. How many terms are there? Well, in that, you got three terms. These are the three parts. Again, copy this page. You're going to need this. Well, at least I hope you are. They want to know what the word factor means. Really? Factor. Well, let's put it this way. If you have three times two, those are factors. Those are the factors. If you have four times all of this, guess what? This is a factor, and all of that is a factor. Oh, please. Okay. Now, the question is here again. We're going to combine the x with the x, and the numbers with the numbers. But we have to do some multiplying first. So, I've got 5 times negative 3, which is negative, oh my, what is this? Yeah, I've got f a negative 5 times a negative 3, and this makes a positive 15. Then I have a negative 5 times a 3, which makes a negative 15. That has an x. <sighs> now this is what's interesting. This whole thing is negative because of him. So really, we got a plus. That thing's plus. Because we've determined already that that's negative 15. We've determined already that that's a positive 15. We're adding it to, let's see, that's 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Okay, there we are. So I have an x here, and I have an x here. So look at this, 8x plus 15x. I've got 12, and I've got the negative 15. See, that's the issue. That should be a negative 15. Jeez, Steve. See, it, it's sometimes it's crazy keeping up with all this stuff. So... 5 times 3 is 15. That becomes a negative 15. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, but then this is the negative. So this right here is positive, so I've got to have a negative here. Hey, even math teachers make mistakes, right? So this is a negative 3. That becomes our answer. Whew! So make notes of this okay it's the last page and then you'll be ready for the practice and the mastery test they have here parentheses um what is that exponents divide and subtract so first thing to do is yep that's right we don't want to do the parentheses get a negative two then we do the exponents. So remember, e comes afterwards, so exponents. This becomes a 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. 
let's bring everybody down. We have a divide by 6, subtract by 4. <gasps> oh no, you can't do this. In other words, we're finding out which stage is the error made. The error made is right here. If we say this is step 1, 2, 3, 4. It happens in step 4 because we're okay here, but as soon as we change to here, we made a mistake. So this is wrong. What should happen is we do the dividing first, then the subtracting. And there's a question about that. And they'll ask you, where was the mistake? And we're supposed to say step four. Okay. Look at that. We're at the end of our pages. And so now I get to put up the famous phone number. I hope that you will call or text with your suggestions.